All right, so I've got my big, beautiful pork chop. This would be a two finger pork chop. Um, three fingers would be, you know, what I'd hoped for, but I was busy talking to more and <laughs> beets and I didn't specify. Um, at Perry's, they do a seven finger, which that's crazy, right? So that would be that big of a pork chop. Anyway, just a little tidbit. I'm going to, um, you know, pork is, 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 is really complements like sweeter, anything kind of like sweeter as far as the spices and things that you put on it. But I'm going to just keep it simple because I really just want to taste the simplicity in, in the pork chop itself. So I'm just going to be use salt and pepper. And maybe next time I'll, I'll be, um, I'll, I'll be a little bit more adventurous, but this time I'm gonna smoke my pork chop and I just want the pork. So, the other thing that I normally do is I brine it, but I, I'm not doing that either. I'm just gonna put a little salt and a little pepper, like I would my steak. And I've got my grill going with my wood. Thank you, Ray, for bringing me wood. I know you told me not to use it yet, but I am. Um, I am, I just can't, couldn't help myself. And it's burning just fine. So we'll see how it does. All right, see you out at the grill. All right, so here it is. All seasoned up just simply with salt and pepper. Ready for the grill, got my Pete's Fine Meats hat on. <laughs> okay, let's head outside. Hello, okay, welcome to my outside grill. <laughs> my lighting isn't so great and all of that, but y'all get the idea. We'll get it worked out for this summer, hopefully. Got my pork chop. Let's see. Put it down by the heat source. Cut it. Leave it alone. This is where the, the heat is and uh, that's where the magic happens, <laughs> so. Okay. All right, so the meat's on. Just leave it alone for about 45 minutes um, and, and then check it. You want the internal temp to be 145. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll sear it in um, a cast iron skillet or a pan and so that it's got that nice sear on it. And then it'll be done. So I guess it's time to work on Legos. 